بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing what we'll do is we'll try to uh, see how to upload an iol images now now basically this iol or iou images uh, which are kind of virtual images which which are uh, dot bin files uh, which can be used to simulate the routers and the switches so we'll be using some l3 images to simulate the routers and also we'll be using them switches to connect in the lan um, in that scenarios probably you need uh, you need some l2 images so probably in this section in this video we'll try to see how how you can upload these images into the evng that's another thing we'll see because whenever you you just right click and if you verify whether you are able to add the node now here you can see i i can see the iol option so when you see that iol option means i do have already the image which is uh, uploaded and in case if you want to do the same thing if you don't have that image then i'll be showing you how to do that so again the prerequisite we need to make sure that your local uh, software or the local device have already the image image already present in your machine so let's say here i do have some iou images so any any of the iou images we need to make sure that you have this iou images here like in this case uh, these two images which i want to upload now if you want to copy these images now now we need to copy this image exactly on the same folder so if you go back to this root root folder so if you have to go to opt the path exact path is uh, we have to go to opt and inside the opt there is an option called unit lab and then under this unit lab we need to go to add ons there is an option of add ons here and under the add ons there will be an option of iol so if you are uploading the uh, iou images then this should be uploaded into this folder if you are uploading any ios images then it has to be done on the dynamics folder so we'll go to this iol and then under that there is a bin folder and here we need to upload the images let's say i want to upload these two are already there so i'm going to upload let's say these two images so we need to simply say upload upload in the background so it is going to upload or transfer those images into the evng so the main thing what you you need to know is how to upload the images you need to have these images in your local drive and you need to know the exact path where you need to upload so again make sure that we connect through winscp so winscp is something the prerequisite uh, this is something done using winscp option okay so once this is uploaded then you will see these images are listed here okay so already we have seen how to connect this winscp let me quickly show you once again here so make sure that we connect to our evng through winscp so what is my vn my evng is on 192 15.31 15.31 and make sure that you you provide the login for the command line of evng okay so once you connect now again we have seen how to upload so we need to go back to opt that's a folder name and then from here we need to go to unit lab and from here add-ons and then i will and inside the pin folder now there is one more thing you need to do you need to make sure that you you have this file i will use source file now this is actually the license file which you need to have so this license file is something you you need to know now if you if you go with the documentations present on the evng website here if you go to documentations now under this documentations we should find how to inside the how to you should be able to find iol so iol on linux now the same steps here if you see the same steps the only difference is you need to copy the images to this folder using uh, filezilla or winscp 
and then you have to use this command to fix your permissions and then you need to have that license file now the license file uh, looks like this uh, it's it's something kind of iou license file you need to copy that license file here exactly here okay so it is kind of different format file and that then only that particular this this particular things will work you can go ahead and check some additional steps like if you want to test you can type these commands and verify or what i'll do is i'll directly go to my evng and will verify from there so if i go back to my uh, mozilla where i have opened where i have my evng open let's say i'm going to create a new lab sample one lab and once once you are done with this now basically here when you click on add a node right click then you'll see the option as iol now here you can see whatever the images uploaded into that folder you will find all those images options here now if i'm using a switch then i have to use this l2 image if i'm using a router then probably i have to use this l3 image so let's say i'm going to use a switch uh, the name you can change the name like switch one some name and you can also change the icon to look like a switch you can change the icon and of course the ram settings you can change default it runs one gb ram you can reduce it if you want if you have a less uh, cpu resources and then click on save so once once your device is ready now you can you can start the device and you can once once you start the devices it looks like this and when you click on this it will open up the console now this console option uh, basically first time it is going to ask which application you want to use on the top now i have already selected the secure crt so it's going to open up with my secure crt from where i can log into my command line and will verify the switching so that's how you you need to you can simulate the labs with switch for connecting in the lan